me and Travis, I wanted to bring the family. I asked the family a ton, actually. Uh, I kind of almost basically begged my wife to come, but she, you know, being gone for three weeks, yeah, then we got back home and she's kind of back into the, the routine of things. And my son might go back to school this week. So anyway, they're not with me. I wanted them to be with me, but we're here in Cedar City, Utah for the Belgian waffle. We're gonna go pre-ride a little bit of it. We're here, it's Tuesday. The race is until Saturday. So we've got a lot of time to explore the area. If you're going to go RVing, get some gloves. Get some heavy duty gloves because at a certain point, you're gonna have a hand full of turds. And that happened to me not too long ago. Twisted this cap, didn't understand what I was doing, and I got a week's worth of turds in my hand. So we're not gonna do that this time. <laughs> okay, so I was a little frazzled before coming here, and uh, I didn't want to I didn't want to forget anything, so I brought everything. I brought three pairs of shoes. Why did I bring three? Here's two uh, pairs of shoes. Uh, I got some new gear from Elio the solids collection, this crazy tie-dye thing, tie-dye, well, I don't know what that would be called. Um, I brought so many pairs of socks. I mean, I just threw everything I have into this thing. I brought Velo toes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna run them, but that would be funny if I did. So now I need to put it away. Here we go. We got it decked out. I don't, I only had three hangers so you know we had to improvise uh so we've got all of our jerseys here this is like our our recon jerseys uh base layers bibs gloves bands amp lotion the shoes the socks the race kit definitely be putting that out uh we're racing in that we've got an exploring helmet the race helmet we've got in case it gets cold long sleeve vest jacket thermal jacket I brought so many flannels, heavy duty flannels. Uh, I brought a bunch of beanies, four of them to be exact. It's really warm, actually, super warm. Let's go see what Travis is doing. All right, uh, I brought this big old tool chest that I got from Competitive Cyclist. He brought the rack and he's also like a mechanic, which maybe you don't know this, I'm not really a mechanic. What was some of the just uh, glaring issues? He was missing his uh, drawer hanger bolt. So we turned off the back wheel, his drawer hanger just dropped straight to the ground because there's no bolt holding onto it. Um, limits were off, shifting was off. It wouldn't go in the easy, uh, the hardest gear, wouldn't go with the easiest gear. Uh, there was like no woo, like no grease on dropouts, no grease on almost everything. Headset was loose. So, it's beautiful here. The air, you know, here's the thing, is I really want to be with the family, of course, okay? It's my default state, it's just to be with them. But it's unhealthy to live in Bass Lake right now. I rode Sunday, it didn't seem that bad. It was, when I got back, my, it's like I, would be, I had been breathing glass. Not good. Uh, my whoop has just shown time and time before that at Bass Lake, when the air is bad, it's just disaster. So we're here for a few days. This is gonna be a kind of a daily vlog. I've never really done daily vlogs before. So these videos are probably gonna be turd muffins, uh, but I wanna get one out every day leading up to the race. So we'll see how that goes. But let's go, let's go explore. All right, so that is a major pinch point, and I don't know what what part of the course does that come in. Like, how early on is that? Okay. So we're pre-riding the course, right? And we're not gonna be able to do all of the course today, but that right there is already invaluable to know that uh, there is a too wide tunnel five miles in, then straight onto this gravel. So guys are gonna light it up right out of there. So you might 
you might have your day be over if you're too far back. So, so far, the pre-riding the course has been, I mean, we we're like three miles in and it is so valuable. The way this dirt is, this gravel, it's very thick, very loose. So when we're flying through here, it's gonna be very difficult to maintain your spot. And when you're on someone's wheel, you won't be able to see all these little, you know, bumps. I, I honestly thought it was gonna be chill for the first little bit. Dude, after that bridge, it's gonna blow into pieces. Yeah. I mean, it is gonna blow into pieces right here. And we're going up like a 3% climb right here. A two, 3% climb. And you wouldn't think it's that big of a deal. But since the gravel's so loose, it just eats your power. So, or you're eats doing, your speed. You're doing 300 watts, we're doing 17 miles per hour. No! Yeah. Oh, no! Yeah. This downhill is legit. I mean, you're gonna be doing, you're gonna be going as fast as your bike can go. And it's wide but it's got some like potholes, it's got some bumps and it's loose. So if you're running really skinny tires, it's gonna be, you're gonna have to be a really skilled rider to make it through this spot. Um, and if you didn't make it onto the group back there on the road, I mean, by now, whatever, 10 miles, 12 miles in, the front group will be established. This is unbelievable. Uh, this is not a part of the course, and it says many times, don't go this way uh, and to not be here. But this is, and maybe if you're from here or you've been on like dry lake beds and this is no big deal, but this is epic. This is so insane how flat. I am just, I'm cloud nine, man. The bubblies, they're feeling good. Dope. All right, so about two and a half hours, 41 miles. We only did about 10, 15 miles of course, but it was so, so key to uh, to know what it's gonna start out like. I really feel like it's probably gonna be uh, like a crit for the first hour. I mean, it's gonna, I think it's gonna be full gas, which means position is gonna be super important. Uh, but right now what's important is Chipotle, but there's no Chipotle here. So we're gonna have to go to the Utah version of that. They had messed up on Travis's pizza, so they gave him two, which is a bummer, because his is super not vegan. It's like bacon on bacon on sausage on cow face. I wish that I had gotten mine comped, but it's all good. So look, this video is probably gonna be a turd muffin. I haven't done, I've never done daily vlogs before. And as soon as I 
upload this tonight, I am then going to be forced to continue doing this for the next like four or five days. So that's kind of a uh, new territory for me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, it was so huge coming here and pre-riding the course. And the fact that we have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to do even more of that. Probably tomorrow we're going to do a bigger ride. Maybe even Thursday do a big ride as well. And then take it easy Friday. Uh, it's going to be fun. As long as there's no mechanicals, you know, I think that... I think both Travis and I stand a good chance to, to you know, be there. It's going to be a good day. Um, gravel's, like, really harsh. So uh, we'll see how bikes have hold up. It is chunky monkey for sure. So anyway, guys, as always, vegan cyclists. Yeah.